I'm Dr. Tom Mather, the Tick Guy from the University of Rhode Island. Take it from the Tick Guy. One little episode is all it takes to get a tick. So what do you do if you've just found a tick? Many people just try and rip it off as quick as they can and either flush it away or burn it or dispose of it in some way. But what you really should do is take a clear picture of the top side of the tick and send it to tick spotters. So what makes the best picture for a tick expert to help you identify your tick? Maybe the first thing you do is take it out of the plastic bag or container that you've stored it in and lay it flat on a light colored background. Next, make sure that the tick is in as great a focus as you possibly can get it. It's more important for us that it's focused than seeing how big or small it is. Next, try and put an object that's recognizable in the picture alongside of the tick so that we can sort of compare the size. And then finally, make sure that you've filled out all of the information on the submission form. In particular, what we're interested in is the zip code of where you think you've actually encountered the tick. If you've recently traveled within the last five days, maybe tell us that in the description part where you traveled to or came from because you might have brought the tick along with you even though you don't think that you did. And those are all really important things for helping us identify your tick correctly. Once we've identified the tick, we're going to respond to you usually in less than 24 hours. And it's going to have information that you're gonna find very helpful either for yourself or if you are going to go visit your doctor as well about this. And so we're going to tell you what kind of tick, the stage of the tick, whether it's a larva, nymph, or adult stage, the kinds of germs that it might carry and sort of from your area, where what the level of risk really is from a tick bite like that. And we're going to give you some best next practices so that you don't get a tick the next time, like wearing permethrin treated clothing. And so all of these things, I think, are going to be helpful to you. So we've given you a tailored message about your tick so that you can take the best actions to prevent tick encounters in the future.